Alright, so this is going to be a probably relatively short video game vlog today. Probably in lines with the last video game vlog I did last time. That was like 10 minutes. Because there's not that much going around. This is the lull in the video game season. Like, July and August is usually dead city <laughs> when it comes to video games. It's, it's nothing out. It's nothing going around. And nothing comes starts coming out until... September, October, November, December to try to get in that Christmas crush. So, the Christmas buy me that season, as I like to say. So, I want to start off with talking about, it came out today that Resident Evil was going to be doing Revelations, re, re, um, remastering, Capcom and they're remastering, but remastering Resident Evil, Reve Resident Evil Revelation series, Revelations 1 and 2, for the Switch, which I think is kind of interesting. I know Switch has been crushing it lately. I don't really get into Nintendo. I don't really want a Switch. I'm not saying that if it's something that you're into, you shouldn't purchase. It's just not... I, I'm not that real about a game. I'm not going to sit there and be like, Oh, I'm playing in my house and look, but let me put this on here and then I'm going to go play somewhere else and be like, look, I'm not that real about it. Like, I play stuff on my tablet, like, when I'm bored and I have to go, like, somewhere where I have to wait, like, say, like, a, a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment or something, and I'm, like, sitting in the waiting room. I'll play my little dumb stuff on my tablet, but... <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> choked up about it. Um, but, like, like, playing, it's, it's not that serious for me. It might be serious like that for other people. It's just, it's not... I'm not trying to deal with it. So, like, I think it's interesting that they're putting it on the on the on the switch. Um, I wanted to say I want to say we so bad. I'm not gonna be that kind of old lady where like you talk about shit from like 400 generations ago. But it, I think it's interesting that they're gonna put that on the switch because I've heard that switch is trying to mix it up so to speak and try to have like less kid friendly games and more like games for older people so because me and my best friend we contend that like that's the only thing nintendo has ever that's the reason they've managed to stay afloat because parents will be like oh it's got mario it's got zelda i don't gotta worry about excessive violence excessive swearing excessive just excessive needless bullshit <laughs> whatever and like that's why people end up buying the Nintendo systems for it's usually for their kids because it's usually got more e f like family friendly family oriented like your kid and like somebody kid and mom could play together and you know like the, and the mom don't really play video games and stuff and she don't really know what's up and like everybody will feel more comfortable playing that. So I heard Switch was gonna try to break that mold. They keep trying. They were trying that with the Wii. So I heard, but I guess it didn't really take off. They did have a like even with Nintendo um GameCube. That was where Resident Evil the remake when they completely revamped it. That was where that came in. Um, that was on the GameCube, and that was really good. That was really scary. I remember that. So. I guess they're really going to make a concerted, like, a better concerted effort this time. Which is kind of cool. It's just, Revelations is not my cup of tea. I have tried to watch Resident... Like, last Christmas, I was watching... I was decorating. I was decorating the house, and I was watching horror games. <laughs> like, I don't know how you factor horror games into decorating for Christmas, but I factored it in. And I was like, well... I have tried to watch Reve Re Resident Evil Revelations a couple times. The first one a couple times. And I couldn't get through it. I couldn't get through like the first 10 minutes or so. I was kind of like, ugh. So I was like, okay, we're going we're gonna to make a concerted effort. We're going to watch it, we're going to decorate, and we're going to deal. Could not get through it. I got to the part where Jill was on the, on the boat. And like all that stuff was going down on that boat. And that was when I was just like... I can't watch this no more. <laughs> and it had ended up having to turn it off. Now, there was a thing with um, Resident Evil 7. Where, like, it started falling to pieces for me. was when they started going on their tanker. I was kind of with them running around from the bakers. And it, to me, I'm not saying I hated Resident Evil 7. Because I didn't. I thought it was 
a very good, like, the best attempt Capcom had made since Shinji left. Um, it was a very good Resident Evil, considering the two that had come before, especially fucking five, which was a disaster zone. Um, it was really good considering what came before it. And especially, especially when you, even when you factor in that summer, the summer last, last year was when, um, what was the name of that? Resident, it wasn't even called Resident Evil. It was Umbrella Chronicles. Oh, not Umbrella, Umbrella Core. And they, everybody hated Umbrella Core. And when you factor in, think about Umbrella Core and how repugnant it was. And then think about Resident Evil 7. It's like, if it could earn an Oscar, it should have earned an Oscar when you look at it. And the Razzie, in fact, it was a sub Razzie compared to, to Umbrella Core. So I, I kind of understand, like, you know, but for me, <sighs> Resident Evil 7 was like, we're going to run around from the bakers like idiots. And then all of a sudden, we, we're going to have a plot in like the last hour and a half to two hours. It was just like, okay, that was an interesting choice. So, and for me, like, the only parts in Resident Evil seven that I ever found scary were all the Clancy bits. I didn't find Ethan's story like knockdown drag out scary. So I don't know. <laughs> I was I was just going <sighs> Clancy's story is just it freaks me out. Like just to be a hapless victim caught in like a bad circumstance. That's something that deeply affects me. It frightens the shit out of me because I'm always worried that I'm going to end up like in a situation like that. So, and Ethan was just kind of like, oh, we're going to save Mia even though she cut my arm off with a chainsaw. Even though she stabbed me through the hand. I love my husband, but if I went to go rescue him for some shit and I got, he stabbed me through the hand, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm like, okay, it's all you, man. Look, we had some laughs. It's been real. But I'm kind of fucked up, and I'm going to go leave now. <laughs> so, and I came back with, like, the National Guard. I wouldn't be like, oh, no, I love you, and I wouldn't try to make my love. is going to make you better. Hell no. I got the fuck out of there and been like, no. So, <sighs> the even story can go to hell. Classy story scares me. The, um... 21, I can't even watch 21. 21 fucked me up so bad. I watched it once and I was like, I would never watch 21 again. That's the one, that's the side game, the DLC game where you're playing Blackjack against Lucas and then that other guy is across from you. It is horrific. I can't even watch it. I'm like, oh no, I can't watch this no more. Because it was some part after you, after that guy dies, the guy that you're playing against dies, he, he's like, Lucas is animating him. Nope. No more of that shit. Then the bedroom freaked me out because you have to constantly make sure everything is back where it was or, or Marguerite flips out on you. Nope. I can't do it. So... <laughs> All the Clancy stuff scares me. Ethan's storyline can go to hell. So, but getting back to Revelations, I and then the whole thing with Alex Wesker in Revelations too. I do not like the Alex Wesker character. Granted, I have written a couple Alex Wesker fan fictions, and I love making Alex Wesker like sexualized. But like, it's just, like as a whole, I do not like the Alex Wesker character. So, I don't even know. They need to stop fucking around and find an uh, out for the Albert Wesker character to come back, because, ill. So, enough of that. I've, like, rambled on about Resident Evil, but it's coming out on the Switch, and they're re, re, remastering. I want to say reboot, retool, but it's remastering it. So, it'll be nice looking for the, for the Switch. So, if you're into that, go get it. And the other topic I'm going to talk to you now that I rambled the hell on for like nine minutes is, of course, The Evil Within 2. Now, this morning I was greeted by the loveliness that they did this, the last trailer, the Survive trailer. They put it in for, um, in Japanese. I think they changed all the voice actors, I think they changed the English voice actors as well as the Japanese voice actors, because this, the guy who's doing Sebastian now is a lot better than the guy 
the guy who did Japanese Sebastian is a lot better than the guy who did Japanese Sebastian originally. I did not like Japanese Sebastian's voice, and I was kind of shocked that I didn't like his voice. His voice was, like, real, like, mundane and generic and just, it, it wasn't, it was not good. And I was really shocked that the Japanese voice actor for Sebastian was not good. I was like, ew. So, um, yeah, I was just kind of like, okay, that's, that's like happening. But I think they redid the Japanese voice actors as well, because the new Sebastian's voice is sounding, in Japanese, is sounding so yummy. And I'm like, ah, uh, I know there's no way, there's been only one video game my entire life that I knew of that had the ability to have multiple languages, and that was Castlevania, um, not Symphony of the Night, Lament of Innocence. Where you could have the Japanese track or the English track or the German, I think the German and the French tracks too. And I don't know why more games don't do that. It's like, if you want to put it in the language that you want to hear it in the most, you should have that ability. So, I, I wish I could have that ability because I really am not feeling, I'm trying to be kind, but I'm not feeling the new Sebastian's voice actor and English voice actor and it's, it's detracting from it a lot, and I'm like, you kind of got to get over it, because I don't want to hate this game, based on the fact that I'm not feeling the voice actor. So I'm going to try to put aside my own biases, and just work with the shit that I got, because there's no other out. Because I know they're not going to put the Japanese track on there. They should, but they probably won't. So... But the Japanese voice acting is popping. And the other news that came around today was in Japan, Psycho Breaku Ni is getting a last chance pack as well. Here's where my unamusement comes in. They're getting three extra items. Three additional items. They're getting whatever this Mobius thing is in the middle, that herb thing right there, and whatever that, not this one, yeah, not that thing, that right ever, what it, I know the herb thing in the middle says herb, but I can't read with the other, because I can't read Japanese. I speak minimal Japanese as it is. I can't read a damn thing. I was telling my husband when we went to Japan two years ago, I was like, don't ask me to read nothing because I can't read shit. So I, I can speak minimal Japanese. I can like ask for things and like, I can't have a conversation. I can ask for certain things. I can, you know, make minimal small talk, but like, eh, I can't read shit. So... And this is all in Katak here Katak no not Katakana. Here no, it's in Katakana. It's all in Katakana and I I still can't read nothing. So just like God damn it. But I do know that herb thing is herb. And then there's this Mobius box, whatever the fuck this is, and then whatever this this I don't know these steroids are at the bottom. <laughs> this bottle of steroids right here. So why are we getting this? What the shit? This is what the shit I hate when game companies do this. Where they'll be like, oh, uh, we're going to give these group of people this thing and nobody else is getting anything. And then we're going to give these people over here a whole bunch of stuff. That's the fuckery Capcom pulls. But they pull it with their products. Because, again, I have a Stars mug, a Star, I have two Stars mugs, a Stars jacket, I have Wesker shirts. And I got all that shit when, from in or from Japan. So... Uh, I just wish they would stop with the bullshit with this. Let everybody get everything universally and stop pulling this shit because I don't know what this Mobius pack is and I want to know what this Mobius pack is and what's in it and whatever these steroids are. I want to know what that is. I mean, granted, we're the um, North American version. We're getting the gun, the crafting thing, and then the large health kit. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom in on it, but that large health kit, which is a fucking trap, because the last time you had that large health kit, basically, it would fuck you up to the point where if you took it, you would be all, like, going around, all, like, uh, all in the vision, would get all crazy. Don't get people that. That's just a trap to be trapping people to be getting fucked up. So, I don't know if they're planning on, I'm, I'm assuming that's gonna remain, but... I'm saying that large health pack was not helpful. 
It really wasn't. And then, like, I think you only found two. And then, like, they had the, um, the survival kit in the, the, when you pre-ordered the original game. Because I had that. But the thing about that survival kit was you didn't get that shit until Chapter 3 in the original game. It was, like, sitting somewhere in Chapter 3. And I'm just like, the fuck? Like, I could see it was, like, in, in Chapter 2 when you really had to be creeping around past a lot of the haunted. But it was in Chapter 3, and it was just like, the fuck y'all giving me this for? This should have came up, like, a chapter ago. So, let's, <laughs> but I'm not amused that, that Psycho Breaku is getting three extra items where the North American Evil Within is only getting the crafting kit, the health pack, and the, um, the burst gun. <sighs> Don't start pulling this on me, people. <sighs> Universality. That's what I like. That's what Achan likes. It's universality. Everybody gets everything the same. So, and then there's no and then there's bickering and stuff. So, that is all the news I have. I know I said I was going to talk about Home Sweet Home. I don't really have a lot of news on that. Side, quick side note. Um, I think they made that in Unreal. Unreal has me tempted to make video games because they have something called photorealistic stuff. Like, their photorealistic pack. And I took they took me on, like, a virtual tour. It looked like I was walking through my house. It looked like real life. And I was like, well, damn, I kind of want to make a video game. But I don't think I could make a convincing horror game. I don't think I could make a convincing comedy game. So, I don't think I could make a convincing game. So, <laughs> but if you're into that, Unreal is... is Kind of what was popping, and I like I would love to be able to, do, but I don't think I could do it. I think my if I made a horror game, it would be a cliched hot damn mess, and everybody'd be like, "Oh, I hate this game," and then that would make me sad. <laughs> so, but yeah, I was gonna talk about Home Sweet Home. It's Home Sweet Home, not Sweet Home. Sweet Home was some is the game which actually made Resident Evil become an actual game. But it's home sweet home. But it's a Taiwanese, Th Thailand, somebody from Thailand made that, not Taiwan. Thailand. So, I'll talk about that another day when I have more information on it. But yeah, it's Dead City right now, and that's just how it is this time of year. So, I'll see y'all whenever, um, there's supposed to be some German, I do believe there's like some German games convention that comes around in August to try to like, help out the, the lull that's going on, because there's a couple games that were MIA at um, E3 this year, um, Last of Us 2, and fucking Eat Standing, which I don't even know, <laughs> so that is all I have for now, and let's just hope this German Games Con happens so we can have some news for some stuff, alright, until then, 